What we're doing is we're trying to model a coil-wound heat exchanger, which is a type of heat exchanger that is used primarily in very large LNG plants. So it's essentially in like similar to a shell and tube exchanger, except you have all the tubes wound around a central mandrel. This allows a greater, much greater density of area which is really useful for cryogenic applications because you can have a very small temperature approach. Being able to have a very low temperature approach is important because it saves you a lot of energy. In an LNG plant, the biggest cost of operation is the refrigeration cycle. And uh, that's where uh, our entire suite of products do come into picture to model not only the process, but also the equipment. Uh, having modeled the equipment at a very rigorous, at the fundamental level, uh, allows owner operators to make decisions on, on the amount of refrigeration that would be required depending on what time of the day it is and when do they need it. So that really allows them to maximize their profits and lower their operating cost. So there's a good, some experimental data that's been published where they have test exchangers and they test various different correlations, uh, perhaps adapting a correlation that was designed for a shell and tube exchanger or whether it's something that was created for coil wound. We look at the data and we help it and we determine which correlations are best to use. Uh, we have the existing knowledge about how to model heat exchangers from all of our other thermal programs. So we're leveraging that knowledge and that experience in order to be able to apply it to this new type of exchanger. We give the customers this opportunity to have, uh, for the process engineers, which maybe they don't have like very rigorous knowledge of the heat transfer in the heat exchangers. We provide them uh, to use our heat exchangers rigorous models within our ASM plots or HISIS to model our exchangers and get some more detailed and localized information about the flow and heat transfer and hopefully better and more efficient uh, performance of the heat exchangers. You get to help customers save money and time and getting to speak with customers and find out how the things that I've done, the things I've put in the program, are helping them in their process. It's really, it's really exciting. You never get bored because here you have, uh, every day you have, you have a challenge to solve, to answer the question, to solve and answer the deep questions that's coming from the customers. Innovation and user experience is key for the, newer, for the newer generation of users that are coming into the industry. About a third of the workforce is about to retire. With that in mind, we have not only innovated at the user experience level, and we continue to innovate at the technical core of it. It's very encouraging knowing how many people are looking and excited about this. It's helped me to be able to better understand how we can best help our customers, because at the end of the day, if no one can use the program, what's the point of it?